set for today. Uh, welcome, guys. Uh, our today's session, uh, we'll be talking about our fireside talk. Uh, the fireside talk will be uh, around the party. We'll be talking about uh, uh, the hacking industry, uh, and goal questions uh, all surrounding uh, the hacking industry. I can see someone raise their hand down. Test, do you have a media question to start? So, uh, welcome guys once more. So, we are the shield and shield hackers. I mean, we are coming hackers and the data. But uh, we do what you call the bounty, uh, ethical hacking, penetration testing, and stuff. So, we are uh, a team made of uh, hackers in the industry, a team made of developers, uh, a team made of uh, a team made of uh, all in the industry. Uh, so, what you're going to do. Today, we gonna have something like a, a fireside talk. If you got questions, you're gonna drop them. Uh, if you got something to talk about, you're gonna drop it. Uh, if you got uh, an additional uh, pick, you're gonna drop it. If you got uh, maybe something that uh, uh, you wanna talk so that you can lift a group, uh, you wanna drop it for us. We'll be appreciating. Uh, Anything else that uh, you feel to talk about our uh, our uh, our shield group, it will be appreciated. And uh, with us, we got uh, some guys in the industry, uh, some hackers, developers, and the guys will be speaking with us tonight. I will be uh, they have some their own talks, and that will be appreciating. Okay, from the guy who is speaking, I'm Stena. You can check me on my Twitter, Stena254. That's me. Uh, our first speaker will be George. George is a uh, an experienced hacker. He is a bug bounty hunter. He's an experienced developer. The guy has been in the industry for quite some time. Uh, at the same time, he's one of our experienced guys in the group. Then I will be having Skipper. Skipper is a uh, worth a mentor. So we have the experienced guys. So uh. Maybe without wasting time, because I had that uh, this uh, session that's starting at uh, 20 zero zero hours and stuff in the time. Uh, George, kindly feel free yep. to unmute your mic, then uh, you can continue. Uh, so, hey guys, uh, it's me, George. Uh, I go by the name either Jody the Duck or at, at Crypto GG. You can find me at uh, uh, Instagram, CryptoJoG, Twitter, CryptoJoG, and GitHub. I still go up with that username. Uh, I've been a bug bounty hunter and a hacker for uh, around two, three years now. And I can say I've seen both of the good side and the bad side of hacking, though I'm still learning. So okay, that's my that's my minimal background. Uh, I'm self-taught. I do I do occasionally do some web development. With, oh, right now, I'm into J, JavaScript JS. Basically, next JS is is the framework that I, that has hooked me. Yeah, and actually. Um, I'm try I'm developing. I will be dropping a community hopefully soon for a web app for for the for the group. I I might drop a web app for the group hopefully. Uh, if things go okay this year, I, it's a side project that I'm planning on doing, and another another side project that is on uh, is on. Okay, that one I will leave it as a surprise. Uh -huh. So that so I've been I've been hacking for quite some time. Um, I have learned one or two di two things that that can help that can help you or anybody who wants to start hacking to to get better at it and 
achieve their goal everybody has a goal basically this this year this year i had a goal to to hit okay i had a minimum goal of hitting 2000 usd and reaching top 200 at integrity uh for the top 200 at integrity um actually today today i i got um 274 as of right now so uh, i still have two more months to work on that so i'm trying to get to 200 so 74 people 74 more people to bring down yeah it's a good challenge that i i got into and uh, it's it has kept me on toes and every time i'm raising around as as the guy i am yeah that that's what reminds me what i need to be doing so if you have any question you can just drop to at Stina and he can refer them to me and uh, I am willing to answer any questions that you guys have to help you so that you can you can you can get into bug bounties and parking and all that. Uh, or, or, or George, yeah? uh, first uh, I want to yeah. congratulate you because uh, you are one of my uh, let's say competitors in the industry. Uh, every single day when uh, we talk about my bounty, we were just uh, head on head. I mean, what do you get? Uh, and then I say, okay, so uh, how much did you make last month? Uh, you make something like, I say, $1,000, then uh, I don't know, maybe I'm down or up. So it's one of my competitors. Congratulations. <coughs> uh, maybe the Thank first you. question uh, that uh, I can yeah. ask you. Uh, what yeah. made you to, to, to join Bug Bounty? Okay. Uh, hacking started started in... My hacking journey started actually in an odd way. Uh, it's not the, the most glamorous way. Actually, trying to say it out loud can turn a little bit of a cringe. So, uh, okay. Basically, in, yeah. Long story short, I was trying to find someone that I had lost. So that's how I, I started hacking. I started messing around with Ubuntu, started messing around with Kari. I also grew Kari. I know, I know there are Kari, Kari guys there. Kari is not. Uh, okay, Kari is for cushion coach, those guys. Uh, so I went into Parrot and I found out that Parrot is more is a little bit better than than uh, than Kari. So after some few months with Parrot, I dropped it and started doing Kubuntu. Kubuntu. I liked Kubuntu because of the KDE environment and its customizability. Uh, so after that, I dropped. Ubuntu and jumped back to Windows because I, uh, I, I'm kind of a gamer, so and uh, you know, Linux doesn't work well with games, so uh, I'm back. I, I'm back with Windows and Bugsuit and WC, WSL for Ubuntu WSL. Yeah, uh, and I got into Bug Bounty <laughs> after watching. Okay, in, it, I got interested in Bug Bounty after watching the. Million dollar hacker. If 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 you are if you are a fan of at Doggy G, you you know that that story that he gives to. Uh, what that? I don't remember the name of the channel, but it, it is go on YouTube and search million dollar million dollar hacker. Uh, that that's what interested me into joining Bug Bounty when where I started at Hacker One. All right, that's uh, something uh, uh, great to talk about. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I mean, when you started Bug Bounty as a yeah. hacker, I mean, Bug Bounty is uh, all about hacking. Uh, did you have yeah. any uh, hacking skills? Uh, I would say my hacking skills were quite pro to non existent. All right. Uh, uh, were you initially something like a developer? Uh, I had never. I, I I actually me when I was joining, I didn't know anything at all about IT. Uh, 
so I was like the 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 end user. So I was thinking that everything just works like magic, you know. But so when when I got into it, I started running. So actually, right now is when I'm understanding a lot of JavaScript. For the first year or two, I couldn't really figure out anything. So uh, long story short, no, I wasn't a developer. I didn't know anything about security when I joined in. All right, uh, now that uh, you are something like, you said two years in Bug Bounty? Uh, yeah, I can say it's two years. Yeah, okay. Two, uh -huh. It's like, if we put it like, okay. It's like two years since I started, not not hacking, not while hacking, since when I, 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 I got to understand about hacking. So, okay. So the actual hacking is less than a year. All right, I can get you. And uh, uh, yeah. in the two years, okay, I'm I'm your half. Huh? I'm uh, just yeah. what I finished my first year in Bug Bounty. Let's say September. September. That's uh, mm -hmm. uh one one month ago. Yeah, and I and uh, by the congratulation to myself, I hit my target. All right, uh, yeah. on the two years in Bug Bounty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usual in other in, in in any journey, there has been something like uh, ups and downs. So, uh, yeah. what are your, let's say with the downs, what are your downs? Mean, uh, what, what, what do you hate about my bounty? Uh, I hate the fact that I started at Hakawan. Those people that know me know how much I I hate Hakawan. Uh, okay, the, the Hakawan is not a bad platform. But there are punishments for submitting something that is not valid, uh, used to hurt my ego a lot. So, and actually, every time I would get an NA and minus five points, I would feel demotivated and I wouldn't hack for like a month. I wouldn't even want to continue hacking. Yeah. So, that, that and I didn't know as much about bugs. I, I, and I, st uh, I didn't know much about CTFs, and still today I, I'm not able to really solve a lot of CTFs. Actually, I can say I, I have not solved a lot of CTFs at all. I'm not good at all with CTFs. So those are basically the challenges I would, I, if I had a chance to overcome, I would like to overcome that CTF things and know much more about bugs. Uh, I find CTFs interesting. Those things are uh, something like that. Uh, tough solving, I mean, solving the difficult puzzles, and, uh, yeah. getting into real world hacking and stuff. All right, uh, you have talked about the uh, downs. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Talk about uh, the, the so called duplicates. How do you get to talk about the duplicates? Uh, duplicates? Oh, uh, duplicates happen when you submit. You submit a valid bug and it's already, it has already been found by someone else earlier. So for that you don't get paid, but at least you get some points. So I would say if you are finding duplicate, it means you are on the right path. And so you are doing something good. Wow, that's interesting. And uh, yeah. maybe to ask you something, uh, what was your first bug? And when did you get it? Uh, it was around 2019. Was it 2019? I, I think it was in 2019. And it was it was uh, not properly implemented, implemented CSP protection. Uh, there was an, a login page. There was a login page that had CSP, but the error page didn't have CSP. So I basically, fa first I found a disclose report on one activity and followed those steps to achieve the, that bug that I reported. So, and I got $50 after fighting for it, I got $50. So, that's the $50 that I have gotten at Hakawan and another $50 for the rate remitting by, bypass in, in xvideos.com. You all remember that one. So, actually, Hakawan, I have one. I can't the door at only despite all the, the times that I put um, I don't even like to talk about this. Oh wow. Con con congratulations. Sir. My first time vulnerability I thought it was uh, 
from a scammer. The, the, the expired, I mean, the SSL and TLS versions were outdated. Out, uh, they were 1.1 yeah. uh, they could be, uh, they were supposed to be using something like a 1.3. All right. Uh, so that was their first burger. Uh, how much? Uh, you said the $50 and uh, $50 from uh, ex ex the, the, the site. Huh? Uh, yeah. That's funny. Uh, how much uh, have you made in bug bounty? Let's say since you started something like that in approximation, if you don't mind how much uh, you made. Uh, okay, let's let's uh, just a moment. Uh, right. Uh -huh. uh, around. So give. Uh, adding that a hundred from Hakawan and this amount from at integrity, which is uh, just, uh, oh, just approximate, just approximate. Huh? Uh, approx uh, around three thousand dollars. Oh, that's uh, nice. I, I I remember sometime you were head on head uh, on a given month. Yeah. And uh, that was nice. I didn't yeah. love that. Huh? And uh, yeah. something we call the bug bounty programs. Huh? You you said you hunted yeah. Hakawan and uh, Integrity, right? No, I stopped hacking at Hakawan. I only hack at Integrity. Well, uh, uh, it seems you are together. Hakawan uh, gave me a hell of time as a beginner. All right, uh, you, now you are hacking at uh, Integrity, right? And uh, yeah. I find that uh, you are one of the big dogs in the top yeah. guys in the integrity right yeah uh, that, uh, congratulations for that huh? do you hack yeah. on the self-hosted programs the external programs uh i tried once and it did, it never went well so i went back to integrity all right huh? what's, what's the secret that uh, makes you hunt in integrity uh integrity has really, really nice try just so, like today, 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 earlier today, I got a duplicate at Integrity, and the charger was kind enough to leave a put. So, I like how the, the chargers are involved in your life. So, you, like, personally, like, for someone like me who really goes out, I like feeling like I'm talking to another person on the other end. Uh, so, like, it's uh, integrity is like i can say integrity makes me feel like i'm part of it all right that's uh, like uh, 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 well that's interesting huh? uh yeah. i found uh, uh i enjoy hacking the self hosted external programs but uh, but again i found that uh, some programs are scammers some programs don't reply yeah. Uh, a program maybe rewards you a, a bounty and takes something like uh, five months, four months to pay. So uh, it's a hell of time. Yeah. Huh? All yeah. right, talk about uh, the use of scanners, tools, and uh, manual hacking. Uh, what do you find the most interesting to you? Uh, I I rarely use any tools. Right. Uh, I okay. I rarely. I find it hard in I find it hard to use tools because of the different different rules of engagement of programs. You will find a program that you can use a tool for with ten requests per second, another one with one request per second, another one doesn't allow tools. So I generally don't do tools. Uh, so for the for the few months for the past few months I've been digging a lot into J JavaScript and my research Payouts have be, have involved read, reading JavaScript and finding exposed secrets. So yeah, this entry oh, is all about JavaScript. Yeah. So I would say, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Huh? I heard the yeah. other day that you found a uh, hard coded uh, credentials in the Java in a JavaScript file. Yeah, and actually today I found a, a, a AWS. Secrets are coded in JavaScript. 
Wow, congratulations. I mean, how do how, how do you feel when you get a, a valid bar and a critical bar? Yeah. Uh, uh, I can tell you the feeling, that feeling never goes away. So, like, let's say I'm, okay, so I'm, I'm skipping because actually integrity, I receive integrity <coughs> updates at around 11 a.m. every day, but I'm actually sleeping by then. So since I sleep around 1, 2, so by 11, the email arrives into my, into my Gmail account. And then when I wake up, I check and I see, damn it, I have a crisis call. There's that feeling that I feel, I feel like I just want to go outside and jump. It's, 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 it's a good feeling. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It never goes away. That's the good part about it. Wow, Christmas came early. All right. Uh, how do you spend a normal day of a bug bounty hunter? How, how do you spend it? I mean, as George, a bug bounty hunter. Uh, you go 24 hours, you go 24 hours, how do you spend it? Uh, particularly any day or just the hunting days, serious hunting days. Yeah, let's say you are in a, something like a god mode. Huh? How yeah. do you spend the day? Uh, I spend the whole day in front of my screen, finding either a program and reading the JS, downloading any Java film. Finding subdomains, every and making downloading some tools, setting up my machines, and then maybe when I find a bug, I report it, and then maybe depending on how I feel, I can I can either end the day at one a.m. or two a.m., three a.m., depending on how I feel. That is very very nice, sir. Huh? Uh, a rough day, well, uh, depending on which hackers, uh, yeah. their, their mind is different. Huh? So, uh, yeah. I find that for me, I find uh, the breaks, there are something that are uh, interesting. Yeah. So, I keep uh, re regular breaks, huh? yeah. play an important role. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, what can you advise someone is just uh, starting back bounty? Uh, I, would, I would advise them not to give up and and take the risk. The big part of my success so far is the day that I decided to take that risk. Because if I, if that day I never took that risk, I wouldn't be here. To be honest, I just woke up one day and decided, damn it, I need to take this risk. And here I am today. If I never took it, maybe I would, I would still be. I remember I had when I decided to take that risk, I only had one twenty-five euros under my belt in integrity. So I decided, you know what? Let me take that risk. Maramoja Kwani Wow. And that's how I, I became That's interesting, huh? Uh, in Bank Bond yeah. you have to pay the price. You get it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I found it interesting when the those sacrifices pay uh, pay themselves, huh? All right. Uh, yeah. I'm on the Questions of our chat box. Huh? So there's uh, a yeah. uh, congratulations from uh, a lot of guys. So John, uh, uh, would you consider doing bug bounty for a lifetime? Uh, to be honest, uh, bug bounty sometimes is is tiring. It has good money, but I wouldn't consider it for a full lifetime. I, I would say maybe like I might do it. Uh, I might do it like for like. 10, maybe 10, 20 max years if I was to do it, 10, 20 max years so that I can earn good money and get myself that nice house that I always want and that's the Camaro, my favorite car. Uh, and so after there I can, mm, for the, and, and keep some for the kids and what not. You know, no more family stuff, no more person stuff. Oh, that's interesting, huh? Uh, yeah. Bank you on my side, uh, uh, just trying the little best. Uh. If you get something that can clear your bills uh, every single day and uh, stuff, then yeah. uh, again, Bank Bounty. Again, Bank Bounty yeah. is a matter of impact. Uh. You get it? Uh, yeah. You told me so, I think. Uh. So, yeah. uh, 